See, the fundamental thing is, what is there is not important. Whether there is comparison, jealousy, frustration, anger, hatred, what is there is not important. What is important is, do you look at it? And having looked at it, do you accept it? Let us say there is jealousy. So first you become conscious of the fact that there is jealousy. Most people are not even conscious of it. And having become conscious of your jealousy, which is causing a lot of pain, at the next level you accept the jealousy because that is there. It's a fact. There's nothing you could do about it. Anything you do about it is just whitewashing the fact, putting it under the carpet. It will soon start stinking. So you accept it. Now, the moment you accept anything, whatever that is, that's not important, there is no wastage of energy. When there's no wastage of energy, and energy is still, because it's not being wasted, that only is joy, that only is happiness. That is all. It does not depend on any condition, not the acquisition of a building or a car, or whatever, that gives you pleasure. Joy or happiness does not depend on these factors. It depends on only one factor, that is the stillness of energy. Energy is still when there is acceptance. And before you accept, you must know it is there. So what is there is totally unimportant. That is why I am telling you, God does not judge you. When he does not judge you, why do you judge yourself? And what is there is in the human mind, which is millions of years old. It's an ancient mind, it is there. It's not your mind or his mind, it's just the human mind. All these things are there. The human mind, which has got a self, will have these emotions, will have these feelings. It is part of the human mind, it is its basic nature. Like you, if you take sugar, it has got a particular taste, it has got a certain... Uh, a color, it has got a crystalline form. So these are the characteristics of sugar. These are the characteristics of the human mind. Certain aspects of the human mind are flowing through you, certain aspects of the human mind are flowing through him. There's nothing you can do about it, there's nothing you should do about it. All that you should do is, aha, see, it is there. Yes, yes, it is there. Embrace it because it is uh, there. Be friends with it, accept it. And when you do that, all conflict ceases. When there is no conflict, energy is not wasted. And when energy, and when energy is there, that only is joy and happiness. It is as simple as that. It is no use doing some pranayama, doing this thing, that thing. These things, of course, have their own effect. But then again you are going to get into conflict, and again the problem is going to start. It could give you temporary relief. If you want permanent relief, you must learn not to struggle with yourself, which means to accept whatever is there. When God is not judging you, why should you judge yourself? Whenever you confront these things, whether it is fear or anger or lust or whatever that is, they start telling you a story. Once the story is told, there is no more problem. You must wait till the story is complete. So this lust now began to explain itself to him. What was the story? This person was doing theoretical physics, later on went on to become one of the world's top physicians. He hated experimental physics. He never liked it. But then he had no other go, but he had to do experimental physics, which he uh, hated. So the dislike for experimental physics, doing something which he did not like to do, that conflict became fear and fear became lust. And lust he was fighting with it, which was becoming more. So then he said, oh, oh, this is the story. Then he said, it's much easier to deal with experimental physics than lust. <laughs> he began to embrace it. He, he spoke to his professor. He became happy in the laboratory and the problem settled down. So that is what happens to life. You have to confront, accept, then it will tell its story and you become free.